So Rode just sent me their new vlogger kit for smartphones. This is the iOS edition, but they actually have two other editions, one for USB-C devices and also just a universal one for phones that have a headphone jack. Uh, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this vlogger kit, seeing if this is something you should pick up and really just get into a full review of this new kit. If you're new to this channel, I show you guys how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and let's jump in to this review. All right, so here is the Rode Vlogger Kit. Uh, like I said, this is the iOS edition. Uh, if we look on the back, you can see everything that is included here. So you're going to get the video mic me L, which is going to plug right into our iPhone's lightning cable. We got this rubber clip, windshield, smart grip, tripod, um, micro LED on camera light, a clip on diffuser, eight colored filters so you can change the color of the light and a USB-C cable to charge this all up. So let's open this up and take a look. All right, so now I should have everything set up. I have the tripod, phone grip, the microphone with the windshield. I'm using a iPhone SE 2020. I also have the LED light with a diffuser on it. Let's go out into the real world and test this out. All right, so here's a quick test on the inside of a building. This is just my empty apartment. I'm actually moving out of it. Uh, but I have the tripod, I've got the microphone, and I have the light on top. So light's currently off, but this is what it sounds like. Uh, these are actually pretty high ceilings. Uh, so test one, two, three, four, five. How does that audio sound? Uh, and then let's test the light here. So all I have to do is hold down my finger and the light turns on like so. Uh, and this is the first setting. I think the first setting actually really lights my face well enough as it is. Uh, but if you want, you can click and turn it up if you really want it this bright, but getting hard to look at the camera. Um, and there's that first setting. I can see the higher settings working better if you flip this light around and use the back facing camera so you could, you know, be in a dark environment to be able to light an area and be able to look around. Uh, but I find this first setting being enough. Uh, so that way if you're walking around, you know, you, you know, even if you go into a spot where it's a little bit too dark, you're still gonna be well lit on your face because if I turn this off here, you know, it's a lot darker now. But then I can turn it right back on and I have some more lighting so that way, you know, I'm always looking my best with the light on. Uh, let's go outside and see what it's like vlogging outside. Maybe we'll get some wind and we can test how it sounds with wind noise. Uh, let's go do that. All right, so now we're doing a vlog test. I'm outside. This is on the iPhone SE 2020. Uh, so we're in downtown. I would say it's probably medium to large. Uh, loudness just because there's cars driving by um, it's a pretty loud environment but I've got wind blowing on my face right now so this is kind of what it would sound like with wind noise um, I'd say it's probably like four or five miles an hour wind but you know it's still enough to where there'd be wind noise if you were just using you know the regular microphone on the iPhone now there's a really loud uh, Subaru uh, but yeah this is the audio test and it actually feels, I don't have my hand fully extended here, but it feels really nice being able to vlog on this and uh, yeah. Something interesting I find with this vlogging setup is the actually grip that you're holding uh, can turn into a stand. So you could set it up as a stand and I'll show you in this clip here and you can actually do time lapses and set this up for time lapses or to be able to set it up on a desk or something like that. So I think that is pretty cool that you could do something like that. Um, and really just adds to the vlogability of this because hey, you don't always have a tripod on you You don't always you know Have those things with you. It should be something you can just grab and go be able to vlog be able to set up a tripod on a table Be able to take time lapses, etc. So the usability of this I think is really awesome 
If you're interested in picking up this vlogging kit or the other ones for the Android or just the universal one, I'll have those links down below so you can check those out. And if you're interested in some more smartphone gear, be sure to check out this playlist and see all the equipment that I've reviewed. Thanks for watching this video.